Forces and equilibrium lecture number five normal reactions. So let's just start off with normal reactions first. Normal reaction is known as contact forced. So normal reaction is known as contact force it is the force offered by the plane on an object on an object to balance its weight or we can also say a component component of its weight remember this thing it is always perpendicular to the plane. It is always perpendicular to the plane. Now let's just say for the example, if I say that we have a horizontal base or the ground and there is a block, right? And the block is with the mass of 3 kg. So what we know is that if the mass is of 3 kg, so the force that will, that will act downward is the weight. And weight is always 3 into 10. That means mass into what? Mg. And G is what? 10 here. So your weight will be 30 Newton. So if the weight is 30 Newton, remember that the plane, since we know that the plane is horizontal and we have this block here. Since the plane is horizontal, the force will act perpendicular to the plane. So if the weight is downwards, the force Re normal reaction will be what? Upwards, knowing the fact that your normal reaction here will be also 30 Newton to balance it out because your weight is 30 Newton acting downwards automatically because of the block. So the normal reaction will act upwards with what? 30 Newton. It is always perpendicular to, to the plane. So obviously this is your plane. So it will act perpendicular. It will act perpendicular. Now let's just move to the second example of the normal reaction again. Let's say that we have a horizontal plane. Right. And again there is a block and that block has a mass of 3 kg so what we know is that the weight will be 30 newton that will act downwards right and let's say that there is a force that is being applied another force that is applied downwards which is of 20 newtons now. So now you know one thing that there is a weight of the block, right? 
and there is another force that is being applied of 20 newton that means let's say a person is pushing the block downwards to the plane so that force is 20 newton now if the 20 newton is there and 30 newton is there so normal reaction will be the force that will balance it out now if i want to introduce the normal reaction here your normal will be that means that the force is acting upwards and the normal reaction will be 20 plus 30 because both the forces are acting downwards. So normal reaction here will be 50 Newton. So example number three. Again, let's say there's a plane. Again, it's a horizontal plane and there is a block. The mass is still same, that is 3 kg. So what we know here is that since the ma mass is acting what? Downwards. So the weight will be what? 30 Newton. So let's say now there is a force that is applied upwards. And let's say this is 25 Newton. Now what we know is 30 Newton is applied downwards and there's a force being applied upwards of 25 Newton. So still, if you see 30 minus 25, five force, five Newton force is still applied downwards. That is maximum, right? So your normal reaction here will be upwards with what? Five Newton because normal reaction is the is the force or it's it's a component that what is applied to balance the forces right and it always is perpendicular to the plane. Example number four. Let's just do example number four. Let's say that example number four. Let's say that there's a horizontal plane. There's a block again of three kgs, right? So let's say now the force is applied horizontally towards right. And the force is 20 Newton, right? The force is 20 Newton. So what we know is that the force that will go downwards will be what? Weight. And weight will be 30 Newtons because of 3 kgs. So the weight will be 30 Newton. Weight is what? Mg, right? So 30 Newton is the weight that is forced toward downwards because of the block. Now, the normal reaction will, will be what? 30 Newtons. Because if you see that this force does not have any impact on the force being applied downwards. This force does not have any anything, any application on the force being applied, what? Downwards. So if the force is downwards, remember your normal reaction is what? Perpendicular to the plane. So if the force is being applied downwards, your normal reaction will be upwards and that will still be what? 30 Newtons. So just remember that it is what perpendicular to the plane. If the plane is like this, the force will be applied upward. If the plane is like this, then the force should be applied. The normal force should be applied here. We'll be doing those examples as well. But at the moment, your your particularly, if we just say that your uh, component force acting what perpendicular to the horizontal base, that is what there. So the normal reaction would be perpendicular to the force. If the weight is downwards, the normal reaction is upward. The horizontal force will have no impact on the vertical force because the vertical force has the plane, which will give me the normal reaction. Moving on to example number five. Let's say that Example number five. 
if you move towards example five, let's say there is a horizontal plane again, right? And again, there is a block. So the mass is still what, three kgs? So if the mass is three kgs, what we can say is that there's another force that is being applied upwards that is 30 Newton. Your force is what? 30 Newton. So what we know is because of the weight, because of the weight, there should be 30 Newton. But now if you just see that there is a weight of 30 Newton and there is a force that is applied upward, so it is already being balanced out. Since it is being balanced out, what we can do is we can work upon the normal reaction, but the normal reaction here will be what? Zero, because it is already balanced out. So you know, you need to understand that the force is being uh, used because of the weight that is acting downwards and there's a force that is there that is acting upwards. If the force is acting upward is 30 Newton and the force is acting downward is 30 Newton. So automatically it is balanced out. So the Normal reaction would be zero Newton. Now, let's just move to example number six. So example six. Let's say that there is a horizontal plane and mass is what? Three kgs again. But now there is a force being acting diagonally, right? So if the force is acting diagonally towards right, so what we know here is that there's a force because of the weight that would be what, 30 Newton. There's a force because of the weight, it will be 30 Newton. But diagonally, there is no force that being applied. Your forces can be vertical or horizontal. So if we just say that this thing will have an angle as well, right? So your forces here would be F cos alpha and F sine alpha. If the force is being applied diagonally, then the direction of these forces will be towards right and upward, toward right and upward. So what will be the normal reaction? Your normal reaction will be what perpendicular to the plane that will be upward but it should be what if the weight is downward there is 30 newton and whatever the weight is upward of what f sine alpha because horizontal force does not have any impact so because of the what perpendicular plane so if the weight is 30 newton and upward uh, if the force is upward is f sine alpha and the force downward is 30 newton so your normal reaction should be directly 30 minus F sine alpha. So if we just move to the other example, such as, let's say, example number six. Example number seven. Let's say that there's a perpendicular plane, there's a block with the same three kgs of mass. Now the force is applied here, right? And the force here is acting downwards and this is your force. So what we know here is that this will be a weight of 30 Newton. So there would be a horizontal force and there would be a vertical force which should be F cos alpha, F sine alpha, right? But because of this, your force here will be downwards and on the left. So if the force is downwards and this force is downwards as well, right? So normal reaction will be what perpendicular to the plane, right? So if the normal reaction is perpendicular to the plane, so reaction would be what? 30 plus F sine alpha because both 
are acting downward. So the total accumulation of these two vertical forces will be towards downwards. So the vertical upward will be 30 plus F sine alpha. So these were the examples for the horizontal forces for normal reaction. So we worked upon the horizontal forces, your horizontal plane up till now. Let's just work upon the, let's say, normal reaction on vertical surface. Your normal reaction on vertical surface. So let's just work with the examples again. So if we have said that the vertical plane, let's say there is a rod and let's say there is a ring. The weight of this will act downwards. The weight of this will act downwards. So if we just say that there is no weight at the moment, right? So the normal reaction for this will be zero Newton at the moment. But you need to understand that the reaction is what? Always perpendicular to the plane. So if we just work upon a rod, right? And let's say there is a ring and your weight will be acting downwards, right? Whatever the weight it is. Let's say there's a force being applied on the left hand side, which is 10 Newton. So if the force is acting on the left hand side, that is the horizontal force. So now you know that your plane is vertical and there is a force that is acting on the left hand side. So your normal reaction would be on the right hand side to balance the reaction. It, is, it should be what perpendicular to the plane. First your plane was horizontal, right? So obviously your normal reaction was vertical. Now your plane is vertical. So your normal reaction should be what horizontal. So if the force is acting towards left hand side, so what we need to understand here is your normal reaction, your normal reaction here would be on the right hand side that should be 10 Newton to balance it out. But the weight will be downwards, which, have, which will have no impact on the reaction because your weight is going downwards with the plane. Your normal reaction will be horizontal to the plane, which your plane is vertical. So automatically your reaction should be involved what horizontally. Let's move with the other example. Let's say that we have a rod again, right? And the ro rod has a ring in that. So now we know that your force, let's say, is applied here. This is your force. So this should be your angle as well. So if this is your angle, what one thing we know is your weight is downwards going with the plane. So it will have no impact on the reaction. But what we need to understand is that these two lines, this and this, this should be what opposite to the angle. So this should be F sine alpha. And this point should be at this, this line. This should be F cos alpha because of the horizontal plane. But since I need to make sure that I need to write down the what? Reaction. So your reaction should be on the left hand side because if you just see that there is one force acting on the right hand side because if the force is going diagonally upward, so there would be force which will be vertically upward and horizontally on the right. So if the force is going on the right hand side, so your normal reaction would be acting on the left hand side, which will automatically be F sine alpha. So your reaction should be F sine 
alpha. With this example, let's just work upon another example with the force. Let's say there's a rod again, right? And it has a ring. But now the force is acting downwards on the ring, right? So this becomes your alpha. This becomes your force, right? So if we just look into it, the weight will be mg, but obviously it has nothing to do with the normal reaction here. But here the forces will be on the left hand side and downwards. This should be f sine alpha and automatically this should be f cos alpha, right? But on the other hand, if you note that there is a vertical plane. So if the horizontal is acting on the left hand side, your horizontal is acting on the left hand side. So the normal reaction here will be on the what right hand side, right? So the normal reaction should be F sine alpha with it. If we say that there is a rod with a ring, right? And again, now let's say there's a force being applied here diagonally. This is F and let's say this is your alpha. If we just work upon this thing, so what we can say is this will go downwards and this will go on the left and this should be F sine alpha and this should be F cos alpha. But if you just see that the vertical plane is there, so the horizontal will have the impact. So if this is F sine alpha on the left hand side, so normal reaction should be on the right hand side. And the normal reaction here will be F sine alpha. So the normal reaction from the left, it should be on the right. Moving again to another example of such case, let's say if the force is being applied. Now, if the force is being applied diagonally upwards, this is your force, right? And let's say this is your alpha. So the weight will have no impact again because your plane is vertical. This will be vertical. This will be your horizontal, right? So this should be F sine alpha, this should be F cos alpha. So if the force horizontal is on the left hand side, so the normal reaction should be on the right hand side. So the normal reaction here, since it will be on the right hand side, so it should be F sine alpha. So these were the few example questions of your normal reaction on the horizontal and on the vertical plane. Now let's just work upon the normal reaction, normal reaction on inclined plane. So what is your inclined plane? Let's say this is your angle. Let's say there is an angle going. This is your inclined. This becomes your theta. And now there is a block here, right? So whatever the weight of this block is, since your plane is inclined towards this, so your normal reaction should act this way, towards up and towards down. So let's just work upon this. Your weight should act downward. So your weight will be mg, right? But if you just look upon one thing, this force act will be, that means there would be an force acting downwards and towards left because of the weight acting downwards. If the weight is acting downwards, then obviously your force that will be horizontal, vertically to the plane will be acting downwards and horizontally to the plane will be acting on the left hand side. So if you just look at the angles here, you need to understand 
that this is your 90 degree, right? So this should be 90 minus theta, right? This should be 90 minus theta. Then this angle should be theta. This angle should be theta. So if this angle is theta, the same theta that is here, because of 90 degree. So if this is 90 minus theta, so this is 90 as well. So automatically this angle will be theta. So considering this, you should know that at this point of time, this will be mg cos theta and this should be mg sin theta. So if we just know that the inclined plane is like this, so the normal reaction should go vertically perpendicular to this, right? So now there is a force that is acting downwards, which is mg cos theta. So obviously your normal reaction would be acting upwards and the normal reaction would be mg cos theta, which will be acting upward just to balance out your vertical, vertical forces, which means your vertical downwards is mg cos theta because of the inclined plane. So your normal reaction will be upwards. Let's move with an, another example. Let's say that this is your vertical. Let's say there's an inclined plane again. And there's an angle. Let's say it's a theta. And there's a block. Right? So, what we know here is, let's say that this block will act downwards with what mg, right? So, at this point, you should know that there would be a force that will be vertical, vertical to the plane and that will be horizontal to the plane, right? Your plane is this, right? So this is your vertical and this is your horizontal to the plane and vertical to the plane. And knowing the fact that this should be your theta. So at this point of time, you should be knowing that this is mg cos theta and this is mg sin theta. Let's say just, just to enhance the working here. Let's say there is a force that is acting downwards, right? And the force, let's say this can be F Newton. So what should be the normal reaction? Your normal reaction should be vertical to the plane. So this should be acting here. So your normal reaction should be whatever the mg cos theta is downwards. And this is your force that is here. So both the forces are acting downwards. So these two forces will be accumulated to have the normal reaction to balance it out. So if we just write down balance force, that should be F plus mg cos theta. This should be F plus mg cos theta just to balance out the mg cos theta and the force that is acting downwards on the plane. Let's work out with the last example before wrapping up. Now let's just say that this is your horizontal plane. Let's say there's an inclined plane, right? And this is your block. So this force will be acting downwards, which is your weight, which will be mg. Let's say this is theta. Now let's introduce one thing here. Let's introduce the force that is acting on the left hand side. So this becomes your force here. So if this is your force here, so let's just work upon two things. Number one, this will be acting downwards and on the left, right? So this is theta, mg cos theta. This should be mg sin theta. Similarly, with this force, 
that is going towards left, we can make sure that we apply force that is downwards and upwards. Let's say this is theta again. So at this point, we know this is F sine theta and this is F cos theta. So now what we know is in this force, there are two forces. One is acting downwards and there is one force that is acting upwards. That a force, one is because of this weight, there's a force that is acting downwards, vertical to the plane. And there's a force because of the force here, there's a force that is acting upward to the plane, right? This is your plane and this force is going upwards. This force is going downwards. So if I just want to have the normal reaction, your normal reaction would be here. Let's say your normal reaction should be mg cos theta because acting towards downward and one force is acting towards upward. So we need to balance it out. So we will subtract it with F sine theta because the force, there was one force that is acting on the left hand side. So since this is, was acting upwards and this was acting downwards, so we need to balance the force. Since we need to balance the force, we subtracted it. So this is about it from lecture number five with normal reactions. We made sure we understand normal reaction with horizontal planes, right? Then we made sure we work on with vertical planes, right? And then we worked upon the inclined planes.